In everything we do at Bruiser Bulldogs, we really like to put ourselves in the shoes of our adopters. What type of dog would our adopters want? Um, what kind of experience do they want getting a new dog from us? And, uh, and for us, the starting point of, of that kind of goal is to raise a healthy bulldog. And that goal um, started years ago. And it started all the way back when we got our first bulldog, um, right after we were newly married. And uh, I had always wanted a bulldog growing up. That was one of my dreams, is to have a bulldog. And right after marriage, um, I bought my first dog. His name was Zeus, and uh, it was just a wonderful dog. It had a great personality. I could not have been happier with him. And then uh, at around a year and a half to two years old, we noticed um, that he was having some palate issues. And as, a, as just a bulldog owner, I wasn't really experienced with that, not knowing the breed um, and how they struggle with that. And so we took him to the vet and they recommended that we'd have a palate surgery. Again, being fairly inexperienced with the breed, we went into that surgery full force ahead and not really knowing the risk that were involved um, with that kind of surgery. And, uh, and then that day that he had the surgery, um, it all went well. They uh, shortened his palate up, which was we thought was a good thing that he wouldn't uh, have breathing issues and wouldn't be choking on his food. And, and we thought everything was great until that night I was home alone with him and Zeus and I were sitting on the couch and I noticed that his throat started to swell and he started to um, just have some issues breathing. And I started to panic. It, it was a really scary event. Um, and he started to choke and then he started to cough up blood. And, um, and it was one of those things where you just really trying to save your dog and I called the vet trying to figure out what was going on. Um, we tried everything that night and I remember the moment that he took his last breath and um, he died in my arms and it was horrific. That experience of Zeus dramatically dying in my arms that night uh, really propelled us forward into our breeding program and cemented our desire to breed a healthy dog. And so after that point, that horrible experience, we started doing tons of research on how to improve the breed, what was wrong with the breed. What we found is some really uh, ugly things about the breeding world with bulldogs. Um, we saw a lot of breeders breeding a, a really overdone, uh, heavy wrinkled bulldog that, that couldn't breathe well and we saw bulldogs struggling with eye issues, with heart issues, with hip issues. Um, and so from that point, from that experience with Z Zeus dying, we really wanted to create for our adopters um, a bulldog that was functional, a bulldog that could uh, walk and run and play and live and do everyday, everyday things that um, normal dogs would do uh, with our adopters. And so that was our goal. That experience really drove us to um, create a dog that our adopters would enjoy and we thought would fit our adopters really well. And so we started doing that. Um, we started health testing our dogs, making sure that their uh, palates were, were not elongated, making sure the tracheas were wide, making sure they didn't have stenotic nares, um, making sure we bred a healthy bulldog that didn't have hip issues. And so all those things were, became really, really important to us with the thought in mind that eventually that dog that we were producing, those bloodlines that we were producing, were going to end up in the hands of a, a child, uh, in the hands of a family that, that loved that dog and, and wanted to um, have, an, and have a healthy dog. And so that kind of drove us, having a healthy dog that was functional, that we could give to a family that we knew in the back of our minds that we had done everything that we could to make sure that it was healthy and functional and that they wouldn't be heartbroken like we were um, several years in the past. I've worked with Mitch and Erica Weisong and their Bulldogs for the last eight years. Um, we've focused in that time on breeding a healthier Bulldog, a Bulldog with a better trachea, more athletic build. Um, and a little bit less wrinkle set to help with breathing and improving the genetics overall. So we check the puppies uh, about between six and eight weeks old. Um, Mitch and Erica do a really good job of trying to make sure that they're vaccinated, dewormed appropriately. Um, if we see any issues at all, they're addressed really quickly. 
we also see dogs in here on a regular basis for any health concerns they might have in between those times. Uh, we focus on OFA testing the hearts and knees of the individuals that they are breeding, uh, just to make sure that we're focusing again on the quality of the dog overall. Um, they spend a lot of time with the puppies. The puppies spend a lot of time in their home um, and they have quite a few individuals that work along with them to ensure that the care that they get is high quality and done appropriately. We have a certain look that we like our Bulldogs to have and it really is driven back to the health of our Bulldogs. Um, so the aesthetic of a Bruiser Bulldog is always going to be a light wrinkle set. Um, they're always going to be a little bit more athletic. We're going to slightly elongate the snout, just ever so slightly. It wouldn't be something you'd notice. Um, but what that does is that pulls room in your skull structure for your palate. Um, and so everything that we do for the look of our Bulldogs is, is driven by health. On the other side, we still want our Bulldog to be a, a Bulldog that you walk down the street with and people look at. We want it to be a showstopper. And so we want to have that balance of a really healthy look but we want that big head, that big bulldog look um, that is, is both functional and then also um, uh, just a really good classic look that's healthy. Not only is the health of our bulldogs very, very important to us, but the experience of our adopters um, is something that is very, very near and dear to my heart. I work with all of these families that have children of different ages and um, them being well informed and knowing how to take care of their bulldog and socialize their bulldog with their family and their children um, is, is part of the experience. I think of it more as a community where I have families that contact me um, all the time, night and day with questions and send us pictures, which I absolutely love and makes my day. Um, just brighter when I get to see their my puppies all grown up. Um, we also utilize Facebook a ton to keep in touch, not just um, us with our adopters, but other families can see litter mates and um, the puppies that their dog grew up with. Um, and so it really is a, a whole experience where um, we're here for the lifetime um, you know, of their bulldog and it's not just come and pick up your puppy and, and we never talk to you again. I talk to people um, years and years after they got their, their bulldog from us. So um, that whole experience and having a breeder that, um, you know, you can communicate with all the time is really, really important um, and just what makes part of this whole experience so great.